This is how you create a Shelfari account. The first thing you need to do is go to shelfari.com. S-H-E-L-F-A-R-I.com. When you get there, you're taken to their main screen, their home screen. What you're going to need to do is go to the top, top right of your screen and click sign in. Now, most of you, the email address will probably automatically appear right here. Now, I already have an account through eStamp, but to show you the steps you're going to go through, I'm going to come up with one from my other email address, an old one. You need to keep your school address there. And then instead of saying my password is, you will click, I do not have an amazon.com password. And then sign in using our secure server. It'll take you to your registration page. It says new to Amazon, register below. You will type in your name. I'm actually gonna type my maiden name, Emily Ryan. Your email address, and then it asks you to type your email address just one more time. Then you need to come up with a password. Come up with a password that you'll be able to remember because it will be your only password. If you want to, you can write it down on the inside cover of your agenda. I would do that now. When you have it written down, you're going to click Create Account. After you've created the account, it will take you to the Welcome to Shafari homepage where you will start building your profile. Because this is an online source, I don't think that we need to have our full name. So I'm going to ask you to do your first name and your last initial. You do need to type in your first name and your last name. Again, I'm going to have Emily. And then I'm only going to have R. And then I click enter. It'll take you to a page where it asks you to find people to follow. We are going to ignore that at this time. So please select skip. Now it's taking you to your home page. You will see that there are many things to look at and there's a lot going on. This is only the beginning, the first thing that we're doing. Hopefully as we grow and as I learn more about it, we learn more and more and more to make our profile and um, our Shelfire account even better. The first thing I want you to do though is add your first book and a screen should pop up just like this. Simply click add. What you're going to do in the search bar, you're going to click find a book. So type in the book that you are currently reading right now. I am reading the book of story beginnings. I write that and I click it and then a picture will pop up. This is the book that I'm reading. So I'm going to click add. Now when it takes you to this page, you can click on any of these three options, books you plan to read. So your next list book books or the book you are reading right now, and then books you've already read. I'm reading this right now. So I'm going to click on this because I'm not finished with it. I'm not going to do my review or give it a rating yet. In fact, I'm going to skip all of these steps in between. I am going to give some tags to it because I'm reading part of it and I do know what some of it is. So you can click a couple, couple tags that you think would fit your book and then you simply click done. Now to view this, go to profile and go to my shelf and it'll take you to your shelf. This is your shelf and this is where you will store all the books that you have read. Right now, I'm reading this book. I plan to read, I don't have any yet, but I do know some books that I want to read, so I will add those now. Make sure you're patient with the computer as sometimes it takes a while to load. One book that I plan to read is Divergent. Now an easy, simple way to add this, if I click on this drop down menu, I can click it and it's as easy as that to add it. I might as well click all of these because I want to read all of these books. When you're ready to search for a new book to read, 
You simply go up to your search bar and type in another book. This is Turner. You have a phone call at 8050. This is Turner, 8050. Parker Anthony to the office, please. Parker Anthony. Sorry about that announcement, boys and girls. Now, I should have books. in multiple categories. Right here, I'm on the All Books tab. If I go to the books I plan to read, it takes away the books I'm reading and just my book list. Here's the book I'm reading right now. I do need some books that I've already read. So why don't you take some the time to find a book that you've already read, search for it, and then simply click this drop-down menu, say I've read it, and it's been added to your bookshelf. 